I'm at the studio. We are getting ready to um, rehearse. We have a few things coming up that I want you guys to be aware of and be attentive to. Hey, 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 how you doing? So I'm at the studio and we're getting ready to prepare for something we have coming up this March. So I want you guys to go check it out. I have my face all close to the screen. I know y'all like, get your face out the screen, girl. Um, so this March, March 25th and 26th, we are having our Fortify the Land Dance Boot Camp here in Austin, Texas. We want you guys to go and register, or if you know a dancer, if you know somebody, um, have them go and register. This is really an area and a time where we are going deeper into the things of God. It's not just about dance, but it is about the giftings that God has placed on the inside of us that we have not um, yet identified with or we have not yet developed. And so there is an intensity in this season that is causing us to get more training and development uh, as it pertains to the prophetic, as it pertains to um, the season uh, that we're now in, which is uh, for a lot of people a very weird and unusual season, right? And so we wanna make sure that we get um, training in regards to the season and how to approach it and how to uh, 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 pursue it. Come on somebody, how to pursue it. A lot of times uh, when we see things that look like they may be danger, we're going to run the other way, but the Lord is calling us to pursue in this season and to overtake. Amen. And so it's, it's not about, um, it's not about, oh, let me keep my head down and, 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 you know, all, everything's going to be well if I just stay out of this and stay out of, no, God wants you to pursue in this season. Amen. So I want you to tag a dancer, tag a dancer, tag a worshiper. Hey, Brittany, God bless you. Tag a worshiper in this video or even share the video via messenger or on your page. But we want to tell as many people as possible about the movement that's happening here in Austin, Texas. Fortify the Land Boot Camp is not just a, a dance uh, conference. It's not just a dance boot camp, but it is teaching you literally how to develop an intimate prayer life, an intimate uh, 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 devotion time with God. And I believe that the time, like I said, the intensity of the time that we're in, we need that more than ever before. Um, and then you will begin to see from there your expansion concerning dance, your expansion concerning um, um, the singing ministry, your expansion concerning whatever it is that you do in ministry is literally going to come out of this training. Uh, we have a class that's going to be simply on soaking in worship, how to properly soak. What is soaking? A lot of people don't even know what that is. And so we have a class that specifically is talking about soaking. Hallelujah. We also have a class. Thank you for tagging tagging people. God bless you. We also have a class that speaks to um, the arsenal, the warfare instruments that we use in dance, not just flags. There are a lot of other instruments that we use besides flags. Flags is the most popular one, but we're going to talk about some other instruments. Uh, we have somebody that's assigned to the arsenal. And I'm actually going to show you. Let me show you something right here. Let me show you what I mean by there are other instruments, there are other tools, there are other warfare weapons besides just the flags, okay? Let me show you. This is one of them that I'm gonna be, that I'm actually gonna be teaching on today, and it's the bow and arrow. It's a bow and arrow, look at that. Look at that. Do y'all know what a bow and arrow was used for in the word of God? Come on somebody. Look at that. Look at that bow and arrow. God bless you. Hey, Kim. So we're going to be teaching on instruments like these, not just the popular ones that look pretty like silk flags and all of that stuff. We're going to be teaching on stuff that is used, that has been used in the word of God and what the significance of it is. This is an arrow of deliverance. Come on, somebody. The bow and arrow was used by Elisha and to, to talk about delivery. He prophesied. Hey, shot. He prophesied with a bow and arrow. And a lot of people don't know that. And so we want to make sure that we bring these instruments to life. We're going to bring these instruments to life. So I want you to tag a dancer. Um, I put in the chat there, or I put at the top of this video, and I'm going to put it in the chat too, 
the actual link to where you need to go register for the dance boot camp, okay? So it is called Fortify the Land. It is in Austin, Texas, March 25th and 26th. Um, we're also going to have another instructor that is going to teach on the flags. It's going to be a powerful teaching as well. Now, let me tell you something. If you're coming to learn choreography, don't come because we're not teaching choreography. We are teaching you literally how to live your life prophetically day by day, not just dancing. Amen. Dancing is, 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 is that's the manifestation, the outward manifestation of what God is doing on the inside, the internal work. So if there's no internal work going on on the inside, then how can you even dance? How can you even dance if there's no internal work going on on the inside? So this boot camp is not about learning some choreography. You can learn some choreography a lot of other places. But what we're going to be doing is setting a foundation. That is the reason why it's called Fortify the Land. The God has called Fire Dance Academy to set the foundation in this region, in this area, in this city, in this land. So we're going to set a solid foundation on Saturday doctrine and when we set the foundation then I'm gonna give you some instruction on how you're gonna fortify fortify means to make it strong hallelujah so I'm gonna give you some instruction on how to fortify the thing that God has called you to amen hallelujah so again we're gonna be talking about different instruments also my class is gonna be um, on leadership um, and corporate uh, worship and uh, like I said giving you the instruction on how we are to approach this next season and fortify look at them set up these flags back here look how beautiful that is look at this let me turn this camera around look at that aren't they beautiful I see so many people purchase worship flags because they love how beautiful they look they love the colors of them right but a lot of times they don't even know what they're using them for. They don't even know how to pick up the proper flag for the proper, for what the atmosphere calls for. You need to know that. You can't just pick up any flag in a certain type of atmosphere. If you want the God of peace to come in, you gotta know what tool to pick up. If you want the God of joy and love to come in, you gotta know what tool to pick up. You gotta know what movements to do. You gotta know when you're supposed to be still. There's a lot of times that we're moving around too much in atmospheres where we're supposed to be still because the Lord is speaking. And so that's what Fortify the Land is about. It's about instructing you on these things. The prophetic is nothing spooky. It's nothing to be scared about. The prophetic is God's reality. Hallelujah. The prophetic is your reality. He said he knew you before you, before you were formed in your mother's room. That means you existed. You existed in the spirit. So all you're doing is returning back to your spirit man. Come on, somebody. Give me an amen on that. All you're doing is returning back to your spirit man, the person that you're already supposed to be, the person that you originated from come on somebody and when you begin to get in tune and tap in with that then you can dance then you can sing then you can minister then you can preach but we've got to get a solid foundation so fortify the land march 25th and 26th go register i put the link in the chat also we have a t-shirt the t-shirt does not come with the registration i put the link for the t-shirt in it it's on our website um, but the registration does come with lunch. We are providing lunch on that Saturday. Um, it is a Friday night worship service and a Saturday all day. Um, you'll have breakfast at your hotel. We'll provide lunch for you. Amen. But we want you to tag and, and share with as many dancers as you can because this is going to be a profound teaching for this time. We have apostles. We have prophets. We have evangelists, we have teachers, we have the whole fivefold in Fire Dance Academy. And they're going to be giving you instruction on how to live this life according to God's word, according to what he's wanted you to do from the foundation of the earth. There are a lot of gifts that's in you that's, that, that is lying dormant. You're not just a dancer. Somebody say, I'm not just a dancer. I'm not just a dancer. There are so many gifts that are lying in you dormant. I tell my dancers all the time, dance is just the platform and the avenue for you to discover who you really are. So we're going to uncover and we're going to unveil some identities at this conference, at this boot camp. Amen. Unveil some identities. Hallelujah. 
And as I showed you before, that uh, bow and arrow that I had is the arrow of deliverance. If you go read in Kings about Elisha, when he held the, arrow, the bow and arrow with the king and he told the king to shoot it out the window, he said that this is the deliverance. Hallelujah. This is your deliverance from the Lord and this is the deliverance from the Syrians. Who were the Syrians? They were the ones that worship idol gods. So we're saying that we want people to be delivered and be set free from idol gods, from their idol worship. Hallelujah. So the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords can come in. Amen. Hallelujah. Let me see what time it is. Oh, yeah. It's time for us to start. So I'm about to go, y'all, because we're getting ready to go into meditation. Amen. Look at Denise. All wrapped up. It's cold. <laughs> It, it is cold here in Austin, y'all. It's, it's been like really, really windy. But I feel the fire of the Lord on this thing today. So we're getting ready to go into meditation and prayer. Go, go, register right now today. God bless you.